Hello there and welcome to congratulations, you're a dick. The video series where I compile articles of assholery and I present them to you for your betterment or enjoyment. Today we have wargaming assigning blame, artillery making judgments based on their inept strategic knowledge, and interclass intercourse. So stick around, grab your popcorn and your buckets, cross your fingers, clench your butts, and let's get started. So, have you guys ever had one of those days where you, you get out of bed, you onto an upturned plug, right? You fall down the stairs, you find a note from your wife that says, I'm leaving you, you and taking your male 20 year old named Lee. Then you slip over on your pet seahorse, land on your cat, and accidentally donate £5,000 to the BISPS. So, after you're really annoyed about all that, so you call up your friends, head to Erlenberg, and form a suicide pact. Yeah? And I like for me, every Friday night. But, it's a one of tail uh, differs a little from the take a detour from the genetic, the benign of everyday life. You see, unlike some people, the likes of what the heck underscore one Bob Sector fourteen and TIM seventy two are not ones to suffer in silence. No, no, they want to share their attitudes with with the world, like music or the plague. So joining our star on Erlenberg, Boller Boy 12345 in the T34. As game starting out like any other, you're anticipating the utter distraction of all that is logical by those surrounding you and preparing futile countermeasures for that eventuality. However, diligent study under an order of extremely depressed monks can prepare you for the ability of some people to just feck your day in line. Alright, so, at Atlanta to about 16 meters from the cap circle, what the heck, says what the heck, and throws himself off a bridge. Now, let's be clear here, this is Erlenberg, so he most likely just landed about two feet down on the massive pile of tanks that are down there, but... but and I understand. Okay, I get it. The tank you're in is not the Chaffee anymore. It's some contender that calls itself a Chaffee, but isn't. Meanwhile, the real Chaffee is off at tier 6, masquerading as a chief of the seven, not seeing tier 10 tanks and hating life. Hashtag bring back old Chaffee. Look, I, I get that. I, I genuinely do, but please seek therapy, because it, it's not worth it. Think about what you leave behind. Uh, think about the YouTubers that would take the piss out of you. I'm done. So, certainly after watching that transpire, that you realise it was. Actually, all part of something greater. I mean, dumber. Dumber, yeah, that was dumber. Now, here's Bob Sector from the Wargaming Police Department. Now, he's alive to cordon off the area and, and, and cover the body, alright? So he's not letting anybody pass. However, just at that moment, the Chaffee calls out weakly for help from down below. And as a turd, this Bob Sector dives in to his aid. Uh, what a great guy. Ladies, Keep your eye on this man, because he's going to get snatched up quickly. <laughs> so, it's just the idea of ladies watching. Anyway, by this point... T... 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 Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to call him Dick Beaver. Officer Dick Beavers turned up and uh, he wants to know what's going on. Oi, 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 he says, what's going on here then? But would you believe it? Just at that very moment, Turd Biscuit, fuck it, Bob Sector calls out from down below and in an act of selfless heroism, Dick Beaver dives in after him. Well, uh, I mean, uh, these are real men. You know, men of carnage and, and valor. Meanwhile, Wargaming Blade. Bother boy for the Bulldog's death, by the way. Um, no big deal though. Sure, we'll get it uh, sorted out in old GJ and he's banned. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I, mean, I just. Um. <clears throat> you know what? Let's, uh, let's just move on. I need a 
need to comment more. Um, meanwhile, back at the Wargaming headquarters. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Pour my beer down the sink. I've got more in the trunk. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Fuck you, I'm drunk. And I'm going to be drunk till the next time I'm drunk. Gentle beings, welcome your souls to Westfield. Well, we have tier 10 medium tanks against not tier 10 medium tanks, but hey, at least they're honest about it. We're joining John 2, 202, who must have done some terrible things to puppies in their previous life to end up in this match, but I mean, at least eight tanks that are lower than him in the scoreboard actually get matched up uh, as a tier higher than him, so yeah, don't even get me started. So. Filled with the same kind of ambition and enthusiasm that you find in a light tank on Manovka, he, he's going to speed his premium ass up to the west side of the map. Unfortunately, much like a light tank on Manovka, it's not going to go as planned. And very quickly, John 2 finds himself using the ancient art of Umjunkati, which loosely translated from ancient Latin means man like a bitch, otherwise you are going to get wrecked so hard that your internal modules will become external modules and when the battle's over they'll use you as spare parts to make a TV. Which is actually kind of cool but it'll only be used to show season 6 of FRIENDS! <laughs> so, having avoided violent dismemberment for the time being, escaping with only a broken gun, he finds himself trying to defend the arty from the same fate. And still hitting, because please, he's harshing. Now, the arty uh, behind him takes what I, I think we'll all agree is the only possible option when you're among your mental twat that and kills him. Now, okay, uh, let's all take a moment here, okay, before we judge him. Because uh, you, you, you don't know. You don't. I mean, I, I think really that John 2 is the one at fault here. I mean, how dare he, a medium tank, attempt to defend the arty? How dare you, John 2, assume that just because he's an arty, he's weak? Uh, he has less hit points and needs a team to do his work for. You know, that's artist. That's artist. That's what I. That. God, I can't believe this is still happening. It's 2017, my God. You know, hashtag art equality. Ha hashtag funny pigs. Hashtag. Thank my feckin' life, Ash. Thank this guy more. Oh, to be young again. A buzz with glee for the world, and so horny you wanna bang your face in the no knees up a plate and go. <laughs> no? Oh, 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 oh. Really? Urges to try and hump a light tank like a bulldog when it flips? No? Okay, I need help. Anyway, um. We've got two Burger Kings here going out for the night on the town. They're gonna paint the town red! Well, they would, but it costs gold for each uh, uh, paint. Um, so, all doled up and looking to have a good time. Um, it was about a minute into the night when I set upon by a very uh, confused individual. Now, he, he's obviously been drinking. Uh, that much is clear, but dude, just because she hasn't said negative doesn't imply affirmative. Like, we have a serious communication issue here. But, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he appears to have given up with that thing. Now it's coming for the Um, he didn't even try to pick up line. <laughs> oh, God, avert your eyes, children. Woo! Okay, well, just at that moment, then he comes down with a heap of jealousy and decides she wants to have a good time too. Um, okay, that was disturbing. Seriously disturbing, but you know, it's as I said earlier, it's 2017, we can't judge. Uh, maybe that duck sexually identifies as an arty. We don't know. I, I'm a transvestite, I, I'm still straight, you know. Uh, who's to say? Uh, I mean, meanwhile, uh, Benny's gotten out of there, she needs another drink, but no, 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 Game Addict 24 isn't the type of guy to give up easily. 
No, by the time he's done, you'll be addicted to him and whatever type of game he's playing. Yeah, he's that kind of guy. He'll put an arty in their rightful place in the garage, making sure his shells are loaded. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Long after the sun has set, the time has come for the annual mating of the duck. Having chosen a suitable mate, the male duck will pursue that sweet ass booty until sunrise. Or he gets arrested. That, that also could happen. <clears throat> it seems that this particular female is playing hard to get despite his attempts to pursue her. Alas, unable to catch her due to being a perpetually drunk light tank, he makes one last desperate play for dominance. Ha ha, now that punk bitch knows the glory of the duck. Yeah, you, you, you're just not a very nice person. Um, moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for the first episode of Congratulations. You're a dick. I'd like to thank Bottleboy, John2, and Total Pie for their many plays, and Redbox Productions for the animation assistance. You can find his channel in the description, and I encourage you to go over and have a look, because he really does have some good many artistic talents. Also, remember, if you want to find yourself featured in future episodes of this series, you can submit any anything you might have to anyplays.wolst at yahoo.co.uk. Also, in the description, and let's not limit ourselves here, doesn't have to be all the tanks. People are dicks all over the internet, as I'm sure you're aware. So, if you see someone being a dick, send it to me, and uh, I might put it in one of these episodes. Um, yeah. Quite new what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, no one else in the water tanks community is doing it in the same style. So if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me to know if you like the video. And more importantly, it lets YouTube know as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And until the next episode, I bid you a fond farewell.